This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best here with my review of the 7th generation iPod Nano. Over the past few years, the iPod Nano has gone through a, a good amount of design changes. So I'm going to check out the new design of this iPod Nano, a couple of the new features, and let you know whether it's going to be a good buy over the previous generation or not. So first, we're going to talk about the design. As we take a look at last year's iPod Nano compared to this new one, you can see a slight difference, right? Just a little bit, right? But no, this is a very big difference because they kind of went back to the way the fifth generation iPod Nano looked, but without that little menu wheel at the bottom. And this new iPod only weighs 1.1 ounces and comes in at 0.21 inches thick. So this thing is very small, only the size of really maybe one or two credit cards. As we take a look around the device at the top, you'll find the power button. On the left-hand side, you'll find the volume controls and also the play and stop button right there in the middle. Then on the bottom, you'll find the headphone jack and next to that you'll find the lightning connector port on uh, the new one again that's being introduced in all the new iPods new iPhones and more than likely new iPads coming up now at the front you'll find the familiar home button that you see in the iPhone the iPod touch and that home button makes it a lot easier to navigate through the software now, taking up most of the front of the new Nano is a 2.5 inch widescreen multi-touch display with a resolution of 240 by 432. And so the display is definitely pleasant to look at, but the one thing I don't like about this new display um, is that its viewing angles are not that great at all. So if you're watching video and things like that and you set this Nano down on the table, you, it, the video is going to be definitely washed out. You need to be looking directly down at this Nano to really get the best of this screen. And that's going to take a look on the inside of this new Nano. Now on the inside, you want to find 16 gigabytes worth of storage. That's the only version of the iPod Nano that they are selling. Now you'll also find Bluetooth 4.0 now. It's one of the big new things inside of this Nano. So now you'll be able to connect to a wireless headset or a wireless speaker, or even your car if it does support Bluetooth, and be able to stream the audio from this iPod Nano to that. Now as far as battery life, Apple said you should be able to get up to 30 hours for audio playback, 3.5 hours for video playback. And I would say just with normal use, maybe using this thing one or two hours a day, this thing should last you a full week before you have to put it back on a charger. So overall, I think with this new design and the hardware, Apple was able to combine what they've done with the past two generations of the iPod Nano and really make it into this ultimate little small portable device, and especially by adding the home button and Bluetooth 4.0. I think the hardware definitely took a, a bump up. And I, I will say that, again, part of me kind of still favors the previous generation because it was wearable, has a little clip. Uh, you can attach it on your shirt if you get ready to go work out or just walk around or something like that. Um, and, and it was really compact, plus you can wear it as a watch. Uh, but I would say with this new design, it's definitely going to be favoring people who want to watch video on the go. And uh, this thing is so thin you can just put it anywhere. And now it's going to move on to this software in this new Nano. Now much hasn't changed since the previous generation iPod Nano. The software is pretty much the same besides the, the home screen icons are now circular instead of square. Uh, but the way you navigate and stuff like that is pretty much the same. You can swipe from left to right on the screen to get back to where you want it to or you can just press that home button now and I'll get you all the way back to the home screen. But you have all the same applications on there. You have Nike Plus Fitness. If you want to keep track of uh, how you're doing while you're working out, the iPod Nano can keep track of all that information. Now, the new thing with the radio is that now you can rewind live radio. So it has a 15-minute buffer. So if you want to go back and listen to your favorite song or listen to your favorite DJ, if he says something funny, you can now scroll back in the radio application, which is an added plus. So when I stand back and look at this software, it really isn't that much new there. So it's kind of disappointing. And Apple still hasn't really enabled developers to make applications or third-party applications for this thing that I think would have had a lot more functionality to it and make it a lot more fun if you can put some games on here or things like that so I'm kind of disappointed Apple didn't do that uh, but the software for a little portable small device still works very well but I'm just really wishing that it really did a lot more to it all right, guys, well, I'm about to wrap up my review of this new Nano. So what do I really think? Well, first off, I'm going to say that this is not a necessary upgrade from the previous generation. If you have that previous generation, you, you're definitely probably liking the ability to be able to wear it. Um, it's definitely a little bit more compact. You can even use it as a watch. But the big deciding factor to probably whether you're upgraded or not is going to be that Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, that is a very nice ability to have to be able to sync it with some wireless headphones or wireless speaker. And again, you can sync it up with your car if you wanted to. Um, now, I do like this 2.5-inch uh, display. It's definitely um, nice for watching video, but I don't like the viewing angle on it especially after using a, an iPhone 5 or an iPod touch with the retina displays to go to this display just seems kind of really washed out in some cases and the inability to be able to download third-party apps for this thing which really could just bump up the potential of this Nano is definitely a negative and I wish Apple will probably change that hopefully they would change that here in the near future but for size is really the best device out there if you want to be doing video and audio and this thing is just so small again it fits everywhere uh, this is going to be the best device hardware spec wise and performance wise out there that you can get and so this iPod Nano It'll cost $149 and it comes in about eight different colors, so you have a good amount of colors to choose from depending on your personal taste. So, anyway, guys, this has been my review of the iPod Nano. But before we head out of here, I'm gonna take one last look at our sponsor for this video. 
Today's sponsor is Netflix. If you didn't know, Netflix can stream movies and TV shows to your TV set, your computer, your cell phone, your tablet via the Netflix application. It's also available on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation, Nintendo Wii. Almost everything now has a Netflix app for you to be able to watch all the TV shows and movies that you want to anytime that you want to. So if you want to go ahead and try out Netflix, you can go to netflix.com forward slash soldier and get your free trial membership. Again, that's netflix.com forward slash soldier. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this new iPod Nano. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.